One. My name is Alexander. Today, we are going to conquer the rest of the world and save the Irish. This is going to be very, very big power fantasy. Prepare for siege. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Yay, we have Dublin back! Oh, oh, I bloody miss you. Although, although I really wish the lanyards every 20 turns that their influence would uh, turn into. Well, like, I don't know, like around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and what if it's, what if by every era, the amount it takes for you to get a land unit, uh, it's subtracted by, you know, one era, and by the future era, and uh, you get land units every 12 turns. I wonder how broken that would that be. <laughs> Gents, we just researched rocketry. Oh my goodness, these units are gonna get very overpowered very quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor AI. Okay, so well, I'm gonna need to do it on the is stuff. The artillery that has well logic double logistics. Which I already did, I didn't realize it until now. That was unscripted. Okay, so what? We have we officially have rocket artillery. How much can double logistics artillery do? Okay, so it can basically one shot a city. That's totally not overpowered at all. <laughs> okay, so... What? what? Yeah, we are absolutely steamrolling the AI right now. Now we're gonna go up towards satellites. It's so we can get to Hubble Space Telescope to finish the game faster. Guess what? I can attack twice. <laughs> it's, that's a fun fact, boy. <laughs> okay, so... For my... Are you like these? I'm actually gonna heal them up and... We're gonna officially capture her and conquer the entirety of the... What's it called again? The... C-O-C-O-M. I don't know how, how you Command and Conquer fans conquer the pronunciation of this, all these names, but okay. Wait, hold up. I got the old worker. There we go. First, we're gonna capture Beijing. We're gonna pop it. Oh, look at our infantry. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on now. Everybody, look at my infantry. I I have two OP units. I have one that heals every turn and one that also heals every turn. Heals everyone around them, but also can attack twice. Oh my. I do have a feeling that... Medic 2 is going to be very useful. <laughs> okay. Puppet. Imp impossible. How can you beat someone more technologically advanced as you? I don't know. Maybe you should uh, rephrase more to less. <laughs> Considering that you're like around this. 
Like, literally around... the 16 technologies behind me. I'm literally on my way to... Towards the... You steal talent directly. He... Okay, so... Can I ask you one question? How many Washington DCs are there throughout this world? So there's three E Washingtons. Okay, good to know. Oh, and by the way, we have Centrions and Cyber Reapers. To be honest, I can't really tell the difference between the two, but okay. We apparently have two unique units, modded units. And we have Washington. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of delicious wonders. I really wonder what the Steel Talents could be doing. Besides stealing on steel. <laughs> Why are they steel resisting? I don't know. Me neither. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This feels so broken. Can I actually take Sa Yes, I can take Santi Iago. I do have mobility. I do definitely have to slow down the rate at which I conquer though. So, from what I can gather, use of gaming just replaced the mobile infantry with the sentry on. Which has 100 attack and defense, bonus versus melee 100%, and that also applies to bonus versus ranged. So, according to the Sibylopedia, uh, let's compare it to with the original um, mob mobile infantry units that we have here. Okay, where is it? Hold up. Wrong, it's mechanized infantry. So, mechanized infantry has, has this unit here. Yeah. Mechanized infantry has 90 strength defense and 3 movement points. And compared to the sentry yeah, on, we have a 10 strength plus boost and we have 2 bonuses, that's nice. And for lasers, the Cyborg Reaper is a modded version of the modern armor. Yeah. The modern armor, in terms of strength, is one of the strongest units in the game. So definitely you, you get as much experience with your cavalry units as you can. Hmm. Hmm. So let's compare it to well, the modern armor or units. I wonder what's the strongest unit in this mod in terms of just pure strength only. <laughs> I really wonder. Oh, look, there's modern armor. So, well, the Cyber Reaper has plus 10 strength compared to well, modern armor. And has modern armor has 5 movement points. While the Cyber Reaper also has 5. It has bonus versus armor. <laughs> Jeez. Yusuke Gang really did a lot with this mod. Okay. Oh, and I think Gear just added in helicopter gunships as of recent. And Lee? So, yeah, that's an, apparently a new thing. Looks like computers is not gonna give me a bit of a science boosts. 
I don't know, maybe year her him him or herself should at at least add in some um, uh, server building into the game. I don't know if this is actually a good idea, but maybe they sh should add a server building into the game or mod one into the game. And maybe that could grant you plus culture and science. I don't know that, but that's just an idea. I know a, a little bit of what ha happens behind the, the scenes of developing games. Even though I'm not a game dev myself, I have delved into the a world of game development myself. Oh, and plus, look at that wealth! I am so rich! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a lot of cities. You know, when it comes to cities, more cities is more detrimental, but at the beginning, but once you get stuff like theaters and stadiums, then then you can just pretty much rush, conquer, and have as much cities as possible. Just let's make sure you don't let your unhappiness go too far or off from just se minus seven. Just conquer and defend as much territory as you can. Don't lose any units, and then... And if you have the opportunity, negotiate peace, unless you know you can win. Without having heavy losses in terms of unit strength. Of course. Attack. Puppy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this feels ridiculous. It's for some reason, <laughs> this feels like cheating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guess what boys, we're about to be done. These cities will, s will soon be mine. The steel talents will steal not what exists <laughs> this for for eternity and beyond. Boop and boop. We've won a domination victory. And I did it better than on Unicef gaming. I literally done it in like 231 turns. I'm at the future era. <laughs> uh, don't be too surprised to see players. Oh, and by the way, Yusuf Gaming, if you're watching this, don't be too surprised to see players win DD games. The difficulty games prior to turn 300. In some instances, in Civ 5 in general, you can actually do a pre turn 200 signs in victory, which I plan to do with us a civilization in, in the next series that I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do a pre turn 200. It's science victory here. Don't I mean I, you're gonna need pretty tall cities is which means that there are plenty of things that I will need to be line in the next series. Writing then towards philosophy education then astronomy if I settle next to a a mountain or mountain scientific theory make sure you keep on looking on her this for so fertilizer is gonna uh, have a useful growth boost. Make sure you work towards biology for the hospitals. Either that or just head straight towards plastics. Plastics first it is. Then just head straight towards pharmaceuticals for the medical labs. The medical labs and hospitals are gonna be useful for growth in general. Huh? Oh, and by the way, insta purchasing is in fact key. 
So yeah, I, and we are definitely gonna need insta purchasing. Anyway, so that's it, guys, for this series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. This was fun. <laughs>